Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make this um what do you call this? Milk carton milk carton stall. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a stall because it has a wheels. It has wheels and it goes everywhere you want it. And it's the shape of a milk carton with a straw. I love the straw. I'm just loving the straw right now. And then it's big and it can even accommodate probably a t-shirt or socks or like huge gifts. I thought this would be super, super cute, especially for Mother's Day. If, you know, some if you want to give something to your mom, something big and you want to decorate it with flowers or donuts or cupcakes or whatever, this I thought would be super, super cute. So... Um, just basic basic construction I would love 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 to guide you on how to make this one today um, so stay tuned let's get started okay, so the first step is we're going to cut two sheets and I'm cutting two sheets at the same time 9 by 10 sheet of paper 9 by 10 you can use um, your 12 by 12 sheet of paper for this 9 by 10 Okay, remember that your 10 inches is going to be the height of your paper. Okay, so let's just be clear on that. So this is your paper, right? This is the 10 inch mark and this is, let me show you, this is how your milk carton building house is going to stand okay so let's just put it out there i'm gonna get one sheet first okay so at the nine inch side you're going to score at one half and you're going to score at four and three fourths okay next on the 10 inch side, you're going to score at one half again. Three. And eight. So this eight inch, this is going to be your bottom base. Okay, you're going to do the same thing for the other sheet. Same exact scoring. On the nine inch side, half and four and three fourths. Turn it. At the 10 inch side, you're going to score one half again. Three. And then eight. Score and burnish. Okay, so now that we have scored and burnished, we have the two sheets. Um, please remember that. Please remember that this is your bottom. The 8-inch mark is your bottom, okay? So if you look at it, the top part should have the half inch because that's where it's going to go. That's the top part of your milk carton. So if you look at this one, this is your bottom part. So the first thing you do is you're going to snip this portion. Do the same thing on the other side. And then this is going to be your tab so that you can attach each other. You can attach both parts to each other. So we're going to connect it there. Pretty much, pretty much that's it. So you're going to put your score tape here. At this point, if you want to make, for example, if you want to make a window for your house or if you want to make this into a store, now is the time to do that. Um, I suggest you use this one with a flap if you're going to kind of cut, if you're going to cut like the window treatments or whatever. If you're going to put some windows so i suggest you cut you use this portion with a tab that will be the best 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want it to be. No big deal. I'm going to score it one. I'm going to score one, two. Um, I'm just trying to determine where I'm going to be. I'm going to score additional one. I'm going to score at maybe one, two, three, four. I'm just scoring half an inch on both sides. And again, this is just personal preference. It doesn't, you don't have to do it. I'm scoring at three inches. And I'm scoring at half, six and a half. Okay. At this rate, at this rate, if I do this, I won't have a door, but I will have a window. But, okay, so I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back for the assembly. So um, I'm going to create, so I put a window in here and I didn't fully detach it. I just cut it the left, the right, and the top portion. Um, I'm thinking I want to make this into a bar, like a stand. And so what I did is I scored it at four and a half, four and three fourths. Five and three fourths, and then I folded it. So if you folded it and burnished it, it's going to look like this. Once you fold it, it's going to look like a stand, just like that. So it's already there for you if you want it. I guess if you want to close it, you can, but it's there for you, and you don't have to remeasure. And then you can cover this with acetate and then decorate it. That'll be so much fun. This window, the size of this window is um, one, two, three, three and one fourth, three and one fourth by three. So three and one fourth by three. And this is what it's going to look like, just like this. I think it's absolutely super cute. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that's just a bonus. Okay, so let's assemble it right now. If you want to, you know, put some decorative pieces, now is the time to do that. Um, I'm just going to tape. I just want to show you where to tape it. And definitely, I'm going to put some decorative pieces around it. Right there. This is just... This is what it's going to look like right there. So I'm going to put some decorative options in here. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so I've put some decorative pieces and then I put the acetate and this is what this looks like. I just put, cut a sliver so that when I need to assemble it, it's going to look like that as the front of the store. It's like a milk carton store. So I'm going to remove the adhesive as per usual and then so this is our two areas so i'm just approximating them right there and then and then i haven't assembled this yet so this one I hope you can see it. Remove your adhesive and you fold. And this is your milk carton. This is what it's supposed to look like. You can obviously decorate the other side of the building, but for demonstration purposes, we are not going to do that. And then I, you need to put like 
um, like a piece of like whatever decorative paper that you like. Right now, I'm just going to close it up. I need to replace my glue gun for sure because it's really, really bad. It's time. Joshua needs to be replaced. It's very difficult to use a broken glue gun. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. The side, the front. This is what it's going to look like. And then you fold it. Okay. And remember, don't forget that you're... You just part it like this. Yep. Just fold it. It's going to reach each other. Just like that. And that's what it's going to look like. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be decorating the heck out of this. My plan on how to close this is I'm going to be using Velcro so you can open it up. So, you have options. You can either fill this just like this with like goodies, popcorn, ribbon, bows, whatever you like. You can decorate it simply. You can decorate it with like some amazingness. It's up to you, but this is how you are going to assemble them. When I come back, I'm going to show you how it's going to look as a decorated, a decorated um, milk carton. Milk carton. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. Milk carton decorative box. I'll show you when I come back. All right, so we're going to put some simple decoration. I'm going to be using some odds and ends and chit chat elements from Doodlebug. And I got all these from Three Craft Chicks. Um, as you can see, I'm just putting a title onto the building or like the name of the stand. Like, for example, this milk carton will be selling cupcakes. So I'm decorating it in such a way that I can attract customers to getting cupcakes from this store from this stall I mean or stand um, just some suggestions it could be as simple as having just a front window or you can also do like windows on all four of, of the sides it's up to you how you want to decorate your milk carton stand um, the goal is being able to to create something that can hold a lot more um, when it comes to volume like a shirt a small shirt or bracelets socks candy etc and it would be super super perfect for gift giving um, you can decorate it however you want I am imagining my next one would have flowers or rainbows or like I am really really wanting to use the live love happy collection from pebbles so and it could be floral for Mother's Day. That will be also fabulous or very summery. So, you know, you can kind of look at your paper collections and see what would be perfect for this project. This is just some inspiration because I've been loving on the Made With Love collection. That's why I wanted to make something that pays homage to the collection. I think it's absolutely super cute and the elements are so easy my favorite part is putting the elements together and decorating it. I hope this inspires you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.